We have Mr. Warlight, pronouns are he, him in Alaska, who has a question for us. So welcome, Mr. Warlight. How can we help? Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, you know, uh, I just thought I'd drop by and chat, you know, about uh, spirituality. What's that? Spirituality? Oh, oh, you know, like, spirituality is the quality of spirits and souls. What are spirits I don't know and what souls? Spirit, yeah. You don't know what you know what souls are? I know I know what some people say they are. What what is it you think souls are and how do you know they're real? I would say I don't know if they're real or not, but I would say that soul has it has um a historical definition to it. Or or a, histor a historical um idea of what people believe it is. Okay, right. so so you're calling in to talk about something that you don't know whether or not it's real. So if you can't demonstrate that it's real, why should I care about it? And why should we spend any time, like, why should we spend any time being concerned about souls if nobody can demonstrate they're real? And I'm assuming nobody, but if you, neither of us can demonstrate it's real, why should we care? Well, I believe um, it's it's good to it's good to think about what could be real. It's good to investigate about the possibilities. Of things that could exist, so sure. dark matter that is one. Um, you know, it's good to investigate that. It's also okay. good to investigate. So let's in, let's investigate it. How, how would we go about investigating whether or not souls are real? And once you come up with that method, why hasn't it been done already? Hey, um, I have I have one good way that you personally can can actually test this. And, and you okay. haven't done it yourself. Oh, um, I. I, I I can't I not in the vicinity to be able to do this. The vicinity. Not in the vis Okay. What? What's the, what's the way I can test for this myself? And do you mean me or Jim or both? There, I I would I would have to say, man. Uh, there is this cemetery. This it's called this. It's called the Oakland Cemetery in Iowa City. There's a black angel there, man. And if you go to this black angel and like pee on it, pee on okay. it. Goodbye, Mr. Warlight. You're banned. I suspect it as much. Yeah. Um. <laughs> this is what happens. Yeah. This is what happens. An and, and you wonder, because I'm here, and I'm serious, and Jim's here, and Jim's serious. And this person called twice just in order to suggest that, the, you know, there's some test that you could do uh, in a cemetery in Iowa to, to pee on something. Uh, congratulations. Thanks. Guess um, what? We're not anywhere near Iowa, and yeah, that's not a test. <laughs> yeah, it's also weird. Um, I'm going to, before we get to this next call, I want to make the uh, normal announcement. So, Mike, you're through. Just hang on. We muted you for a moment. And that is, uh, we talked about the 30-second policy, but after the first call is over, I like to actually announce a little bit about what's going on. And that call threw me because I was really looking forward to somebody defining what spirituality was, why we should care about it. You know, all of the, the, the questions that we ask here are serious. And if they had person would have had an answer, it'd be interesting. Um, yeah. Somebody pointed out, I didn't give him his 30 seconds. Correct. So fucking what you want more 30 seconds of peeing on statues, piss off. <laughs>